Would you take a simple blood test which can detect cancer before symptoms develop? I did that just a few weeks ago. Now, the British medical chair today said that people are getting sicker, which is one of the reasons why the NHS is in such a mess. Yes, that is part of the problem, but the NHS also spends its money on crud, like rainbow crossings and diversity and inclusion. We need to get real. The NHS can't pay for everything. Maybe, though, it also needs to change its way of thinking. Now, last week, I took a blood test that could determine with over a 92% level of accuracy whether or not I have cancer, and it can detect where the cancer comes from. So I'm in the reception of the clinic, and I'm about to get my blood test to see whether or not I have any sign of cancer. I don't really want to do it, but you know what? It'll save time and energy. Instead of people cutting you open and finding stuff, you might as well find out straight away, as soon as possible. Well, you can tell I did my own makeup. But instead of going for a mammogram or going for prostate and bowel cancer checks or having invasive and potentially dangerous biopsies in the brain, all of which are costly and labour intensive, isn't it about time the NHS invested our money in safer, faster and more cost effective treatments? On the NHS, I'd had a routine mammogram, which was uh, because of my age, which was clear, and an ultrasound, but had, and had been called back over a series of appointments. They initially sent me two letters, one of which was cancelled. The second one was the actual appointment. Unfortunately, no one told the computer about the cancelled first appointment, and it continuously invited me uh, to, to both via raw mail for different days, which is costly and a waste of time. It became so confusing which one was the actual appointment that on two occasions I was turned away from the hospital because I'd got the wrong day. I even cancelled work to attend one of those. I got so bored, so instead I did a simple blood test. Why on earth would you not? If you could find out within weeks what type of cancer and where it originates, what's not to like, surely those in the NHS would jump at the chance. But in 2019, the Royal College of GPs issued a statement on its position with things like this. It said that GPs should not have to deal with results of any screening services that fall outside of those authorised for the NHS. They were concerned that the results would potentially swamp it. Frankly, the NHS wouldn't be able to cope. It seems that the NHS itself is resistant to change, as Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting pointed out when he clashed with doctors' groups in recent weeks after suggesting that they are overtly resistant to change. He suggested radical reforms, such as nationalising GP surgeries, and warned that medics must work more flexible hours to accommodate their patients. Finally, our politicians from both sides have woken up about the need for an overhaul of the NHS. Now, in the Telegraph, Dr Tippett from the Cancer Screening Trust behind the cancer blood test that I took said that some people are very nervous about the extra diagnostic burden of knowing someone in their family died from a disease that might affect them. To be able to get answers and to get them early can be a great relief. But it's also about time people started taking more care and accountability for their own health as well. It's no coincidence that during the pandemic, the UK was one of the worst hit. We were one of the unhealthiest of the developed nations. Well, I'm pleased to say my results were negative. But if it was available on the NHS, would you like to know if you had cancer as soon as possible? Would you take the test? Or is ignorance bliss?